Let's take you through the dailies, but we've got uh, Martin Oloja, who is a member, editorial board, is a columnist, an immediate past editor of the Guardian newspaper. Thank you for coming this morning. Uh, good morning. Let's start off with New Telegraph today, and uh, glad you could wade through the rings. <laughs> Once a newsman, always a newsman. <laughs> yes, you never want to beat the deadlines. Uh, definitely. Let's start with New Telegraph, and uh, the report they've got on their front page, the lead story today reads, States get 243.7 billion Naira fresh Paris Club refund. And uh, this time, there's a table of uh, Paris Club refund made to states. And then I think they just listed it in alphabetical order, <laughs> not necessarily who got the highest of those. So you could almost look at it immediately. But uh, but do you think that this is actually uh, making the kind of impact it should make and states channel it properly in light of the arguments, the accusations you've heard previously? You know, see, you know, that's part of the trouble with democracy. All the state governors will tell you that they uh, know the federal government doesn't have the right to dictate, you know, even not even the president. The, 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 the president, the federal government, the APC, or authorities in Abuja do not have the right to dictate to them how they use the money that is available to them, that they have uh, the, the right under the constitution to use their money anyhow. But that is not the story. It, it shouldn't be the story. Whatever they are doing, democracy, governance, you know, it is in the constitution they will tell you that it's not justiciable, that welfare and security of the people shall be the primary purpose of government. And I think they should not talk like that. But oh. you know that uh, there is still this controversy in the, in the Kogi state about recall of a senator. And the senator is alleging that uh, it is because he has he, he, been recalled. Or the process uh, is, is on because he asked that the state government should pay about 17 months salary and uh, pension in the state. And this is, this is the issue all over the place. Most of the governors are not using the money for the purpose that the, the purpose. federal government said they but should even, use But even for. for these Paris funds, uh, 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 should you could call it a, a bail, so to the states, 70% is meant to be used to pay salaries. Yes. And then you have 30%. Uh, how, much, how much will that take us? But that is the trend. That is the trend. What do they do apart from paying salaries? We are talking about critical infrastructure in the country. We do not have good roads anywhere. We do not have uh, 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 good uh, facilities for education, for quality in education. We do not have even good classrooms in most of the states of the Federation. Some of the pupils are, are learning under the tree. So we don't have anything. That is because they use whatever they get from Abuja. And that is the reason why this, this talk about restructuring that oh. most people don't want to hear, don't okay. want to listen to should be intensified because until the states are autonomous, they can generate uh, enough revenue to take care of whatever they can take care of in the states. We will not move anywhere, we will not get anywhere. You know, this is a, 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 a convoluted kind of um, democracy. Managing a federation like this every month, I have never seen, I have studied so many documents about the Forum of Federation that is based in Canada. All, most of the federations are members, including Nigeria. I haven't seen a situation where all the states or maybe federating units will be going to the center every month to, 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 to share revenue that is available. Now, is, is, is it a wasteful system? Well, it's a wasteful system and it's not working and it's not going to work. That is why, you know, people should deepen understanding, as I wrote in my column on Sunday, that people should deepen understanding about what restructuring of the system is all about. It is not about dividing the country. It's, I even said that it's about restructuring of our mind. That I, I call cognitive restructuring. But that's not going to happen anytime soon. It is soon. not going to happen anytime soon. <laughs> but it should happen. We continue to talk about it. That's our responsibility. To continue yeah. to educate people about why we should restructure. Because so now people should be patient people, then. This one now. People mm -hmm. should be patient when it comes to restructuring because it's not going to happen anytime soon. It's not going to happen anytime soon, but we should continue to deepen our understanding about why it should happen. Even though we can't say for sure, it's not going to happen. You, you never even really know. Yeah, well, we, it, it may not happen country, tomorrow, but we'll continue to talk about it because that's the way we should go. As I was coming here now, I was reading the Life and Times, you know, 
uh, of uh, Chief Oba Femi mm. and that today he will have been so 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 he died uh, uh, 30 years ago what he did I was reading while I was in the uh, uh, at reception there I was reading his life and time what he did to the West and even just before that I was listening to the they were reviewing a documentary by a young Nigerian on the history of Nigeria and they were talking about once upon a time the eastern region was even ahead of all other regions even before the southwest so people were talking about how Nigeria used to be I think that is where we should go the regions whatever you have you, some of the children now will not even know anything about ground, not pyramid and cannot we don't know about uh, textile industry in Kaduna and some other places. Oh. And these regions that Awolowo built yeah. the first television station in Africa, the first stadium, the first deal before even Canada. You know, this is something that happened in the lifetime of some of us witnessed this in young as we are. So I think this is why the discussion, this thing now is just some form of palliative. It won't help anybody. After collecting this, are they going to collect more? There's well, no pariclor refund anymore. How are they going to improve on IGR, internally generated revenue? That should be our discussion point. Right. This one now has come as a news item for today. Agriculture. Uh, Agriculture and, and is, is, is giving some hope to some states, especially in the north. Hope, yes. Hope. Hope. <laughs> it's not a strategy as uh, Zakaria <laughs> Farid said. Hope. It's not a strategy. <laughs> what is the strategy to sustain that? What is the strategy for the value chain in agriculture to convert? It, it will just announce that, oh, we are going to import uh, yam. Uh, we have started importing. Exporting. Uh, exporting, not, uh, sorry, uh, exporting yeah, yam. Yeah. Yes, that is hope. It's not a strategy because we do not have storage facilities. We do not have preservation facilities we do not have what it takes to sustain that but, but we've started we, because it, it will have implications we, we, we've started so because, con we've started because yobe is now producing rice uh, and is dedicating so many hectares of land to uh, producing rice and also we have kb state in partnership with Lagos state already is that not a good place to start it's a good place to start we should be asking questions about sustainability oh, yeah. and the rider to that lead story says workers benefits threatened as governors suspend pension plans. And Sunday Ojime, while he was writing his article, starts by saying, uh, while the governors arrange very comfortable pension for themselves, workers seem to be getting the wrong end of the stick. I uh, know that, that's, um, that's, uh, that's wicked. And it, it's, not, it's not a story that uh, one should laugh about because, uh, like you asked, what happens to the pensioners? Uh. This suspend pension plan. If they suspend their own, and most of the governors who are, for instance, uh, either at the House of Representatives or at the Senate, are taking double. Or even ministers. And ministers. They've been asked to return 40, <laughs> or should I say, is this Sarah now that is asking them to will you well, uh, yes, to, return yes, 40 billion? Yeah, definitely. I think you should take them to court over that because they are not supposed to take double salaries like that. They are, they are getting like that. A, a lot of issues like that, it wouldn't have come up if they pay attention to pensioners and uh, workers what do you think welfare about, and I'm, salaries what, what do you think about the immunity clause in the constitution should we expunge it well definitely people feel it should be expunged but the founding fathers the people who put it there have a reason not to cause distraction people didn't envisage that this kind of people will come to power in a country like this it's there for a purpose for stability in order that people may not cause distraction to people in office and power that's the reason for the immunity clause. If it is not there, maybe the gov people will be so angry that they will continue to take them to court. Every day they won't even pay attention. As people will say now, they pay attention to even the reasons they were elected to, to serve.